Hello all, and welcome to the trilling conclusion of Calder. But don't worry, it's only volume one of three, so plenty more macabre insanity filled pages to come. So smash that bell icon to not miss the upcoming series. Right, let's begin where we left off, with Declan surprised by Nimble Jack and now unconscious on the floor. Nimble Jack, after wrapping Reese up, takes Declan away for a trip to world as hungry as he is. Nothing can damper the joyful occasion as Nimble with a cheerful smile, Evan in the rain finds a perfect place for such a refined meal. After the table and the mood is set, Nimble expresses his concerns about ruining the recipe, spoiling such a exquisite meal, only being compared to the finest of truffles, is thrilled that it all worked out and he and his stomach is absolutely honoured to be with a man of such refined taste. After checking Declan's temperature, he decides it's only proper for a bit of a chat before the meal, and inquiring if Declan is homesick, if he misses his home at the asylum, and if he even remembers why he was sent to that god-awful place to begin with. He points out that our dear Declan has a very mysterious and shady past, filled with betrayal, monsters and murder. As he explores Declan's mind, we see the horrible experiments done to the poor unfortunate patients by money-hungry doctors who are just as insane in their own way, perusing the curiosity of what would happen, what doors will ergotamine open, using Declan as their guinea pig. As Nimble Jack remembers he turned off Declan's brain the instant he turns the switch back on, Declan urges him to get his hands away from him. As Nimble Jack continues talking about the fires in the asylum and his birth, admiring himself, Declan stabs him in the face, thus snapping out of the asylum story and back in with Nimble Jack, who Evan in his final moments proves he's a joker simply saying, that hurt like crazy. As we get an epic, heroic panel of Declan standing victorious. Or is he? As Nimble Jack points out that it looks like Declan killed him, as he gets hit in the face with a wine bottle. As Declan drives the bottle into Jack's mouth with a crazed looks of satisfaction, he stops only to realise he is being applauded by Nimble Jack, who, mocking Declan, points out how easy it is to get him crazy and answering Declan's frustrated question on what he is with, I'm hungry. As he grabs Declan and begins to feast on his long-awaited meal. But just as he's savouring the flavours, he gets a punch in the family jewels that can be felt by all. And as Declan is enjoying his moment, Nimble Jack reminds him of Reese before disappearing, leaving Declan alone and confused. Not for long as driven by hate, fear, but also love for Reese Declan, find a way out that surprises Evan Jack, who wants to have a peek inside Declan, and literally does it. Giving us a glimpse into the fond memories of Reese as she took him in, read him stories, made him a hat, and decided his birthday. Well, weekly, but that is because she loves cake. And as ever Nimble Jack is touched by such touching moments, he realises Declan is gone a bit embarrassed. He got distracted, he gets punched in the face again by Declan who now has a firm resolve to end him, pointing out he learned a few tricks as well and he is just getting warmed up. Telling Jack... He stared into the abyss of his insanity for decades, and now the abyss is staring back. With a calm and cool attitude, Declan tells Jack he learn a new trick from him, as he opens a drawer and sharp, hungry teeth appear. It's Nimble's Jack's dogs now barking and staring with murderous intent their former master, who is confused beyond words how it's even possible, as he is getting eaten alive. Declan only mocking him that believing he controlled the dogs was insane. As he grabs Jack and points out if he realises that he hasn't eaten in 70 years, sucking up all Nimble Jack's madness as he crumbles slowly to dust, killing him, ending the story. For now, 